Hey, how's it going? It's Uriel Kame here, and I'm outdoors. I'm gonna be showing you three really cool ab exercises that involve no sit-ups. Why no sit-ups? What's the problem with sit-ups? Well, I have this stick here to show you what happens when you repeatedly do flexion type of exercises. So if we're doing a sit-up and we're constantly flexing our spine, over time, what can happen is this. We constantly flex, 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 boom. Now, I'm not saying your back is gonna snap, but we do know that constant flexion imposes a lot of strain on the low back. So let's put the sit-ups aside. Let me show you three awesome exercises that you can do instead that involve no movements. You wanna focus on stability first before movement. The key with these exercises is focusing on the contraction, and I'll show you how to do that. So first off, we're gonna do what's called an activated plank. I'm gonna call it an activated plank because most people do a plank without activating their muscles properly. So here's how we set it up. You're down on your forearms and toes, and there we go, okay? So you wanna make sure your hips are not dropping down. They're up to your shoulder height. Now here's the thing when I talk about activated. You wanna draw your shoulder blades down towards your hips. Squeeze your bum cheeks, flex your quads, draw your, your belly button up as if I was pulling a string from above. Get all those muscles activated and you should feel your body shaking. That's a good thing. What we're focusing on here are the deeper core muscles that are so important for posture and energy transfer as you're doing exercise. So you wanna hold this for as long as you can. If that's 30 seconds or a minute longer, whatever it is, focus on quality, okay? So get all those muscles activated, good kind of plank straight position, cool? Our next exercise is gonna be called a dead bug. Now you can do this with a stability ball, but I'm gonna show you how you can do this with nothing but your own body. So, we're gonna set ourselves up on the ground, we're gonna lay down in this position here, legs are up, you're gonna place your hands on the front of your thighs. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your shoulder blades off very slightly from the floor, and you're gonna push into your thighs as your thighs push back into your hands. Again, no movement, but now I'm working hard. I am working, my abs are shaking, and I'm focusing on drawing my belly button down towards my spine to contract those deeper abdominal muscles. Boom. Again, hold this for as long as you can. 30 seconds, a minute, whatever you can do. The more contraction, the more you're pushing in and pushing back, you're gonna really feel that working. Amazing exercise. Our third and final exercise is called a knee drive hold. Now, if you're a beginner, if you're, if you're starting off, what you can do is actually place your hands on an elevated surface. Could be a wall, could be a bench, could be a table, could be a chair. If you're a little bit more advanced, or you don't even have to be advanced, you can just do a push-up position and then we're gonna drive the knee in as I'm about to show you. So push-up position, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna squeeze the glutes, activate the core like we did in the plank, and now we're gonna take one leg, knee drive, and hold. As you're doing this, the opposite leg is fully contracted, squeezing the glute, this foot is off the floor, and out. Boom, my left leg, in this case, is fully contracted, I'm feeling all my core muscles engaged. Notice how my hips are not down here. They're up here as if I was about to do a push-up. Drive the knee in, squeeze the opposite glute. You're gonna feel a lot of work all the way through the hips and core in this exercise. Hold this for about two, three seconds, and then switch out. Now, if you do this properly, your abs are gonna be absolutely on fire here. And you'll, you'll notice that I've done no flexion type of exercise. So these are three really golden exercises at developing a strong core that actually is safe, okay? They're not gonna impose a lot of stress on your low back. And if you have low back pain, or any kind, if you're, in a sit, if you're in a seated position at your desk all day long, or even if you're not, these are three fundamental exercises that will make a huge difference no matter where you are in terms of helping to strengthen your core. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, I have a free workout for you that you can grab over at the URL below this video, and you'll learn, uh, actually get, you'll be able to work out with me for 23 minutes. I'm gonna take you through a full on Follow along workout where there's no sit-ups involved at all and you'll feel the difference. So check that out, the link is below and I look forward to seeing you in the workouts. I'm Uriel Kame, talk to you soon. All you're gonna need for this is a stability ball. I was actually just kind of doing some soccer, some soccer juggling with it. This is obviously a very, very big soccer ball. Um, but we're not gonna use that for the moment. So we're gonna go to the floor. Okay guys, so if you've got trouble doing push-ups or if you've never done push-ups before, this is where you wanna start. 